Hello guys, welcome back. So, in today's video, we are doing the third part of the Orchid Collection update for the month of September. So, here we have my um, Cattleya Iwanagara Apple Blossom Pink. So very very interesting growth i got from this orchid this year uh she has produced this suitable hold on to focus so she has produced this very very fat suitable which is um doing right now some uh, buds here inside the sheet and uh, she is growing this new growth this one and uh, this one here so i already have four growths for this year which is pretty pretty amazing because um she wasn't a bushy orchid she only had four suitables before uh, this one so she basically doubled its growth uh in this orchid season which is amazing in my opinion and uh, you can see the growths are very very large they are looking very very healthy so uh, i am very very happy with my feeding regime and also with uh, growing orchids in um, semi hydro especially my cattleya has responded uh, so so well so um, i am really amazed by that here i have um, that uh, cattleya um, Hardiana semi alba, which I recently bought from Elsner Orchidian, and unfortunately, this orchid came to me with fusarium and a scale infestation, and I wasn't happy at all because I paid for it 90 euros and. Um, I complained about this to the company, but uh, they said, oh no, you're wrong, the orchid is healthy, but uh, we can clearly see on the suitables uh, the damage from the previous scale, and uh, I also found some dead ones at the base of the rhizome, and um, when I cleaned the sheets that were uh, actually covering the eyes of the growth so uh, yeah i wasn't happy by that and i'm not happy at all by the response i got from the company so this was my last order from them i'm sorry i'm never ordering from them again anyway um i'm happy because i actually managed to did a fusarium treatment for this orchid and now she's uh, starting to grow again this new growth and uh, she's starting to push up some new roots which is good for me but uh, the leaves are not looking uh, good uh, here you go so i have some marks on them so the orchid really didn't um didn't justify this price but anyway let's move on uh here i have my cattleya pantum green and again this orchid uh, previously had only four uh suitables you can see them there in the back and now she's producing these three ones which is uh, a pretty amazing uh, rate for me at least uh, this is uh, an orchid that I got from Corina. This is Miltasia Shellob Tolkien and I am so so excited to have this orchid. I had in the past a division from Dania but that one died because of Fusarium. Uh, she sent it uh, to me with Fusarium and I tried to save it but uh, I guess she was already too weak. But anyway, this one it, uh, it seems to be very healthy and uh, I have this uh, growth here and uh, this other one here. Why is not my phone focusing right now? I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, these are actually two separate uh, orchids that were in the same pot, which uh, happens quite a lot when you buy a very young orchids, because this is a young orchid. It has uh, at least one year from uh, flowering size, but uh, I'm more than happy to grow a young orchid to a full bush, because uh, I can get it to be a lot healthier. Okay, and here we have that Oncidium Sherry Baby that I took from uh, Kaisan Orchidian. Again, this one was uh, infested with uh, Fusarium. 
and now it is uh, pushing up this huge huge new growth you can see it right now and uh, it also has quite a lot of roots it is a uh, loving semi-hydra and I am uh, hoping um, it will actually bloom from this growth because um, yeah I have performed fusarium treatments for it and uh, in the past this orchid never bloomed I have checked the older suitables and that is not normal because the suitables were very very large so uh, that would be an indication for me that the fusarium treatment worked if uh, this orchid uh, blooms because uh, the root system is already pretty good in my opinion um, okay here I have my uh, Bellara Diana Dangotic. This is such such a pretty orchid and uh, she pushed up this new growth and this one here in the back. Uh, and here I have two spikes. Not sure if I can show them to you. Oh, yeah. So here is the first one and I have another one tiny in the right side. So uh, we are looking forward for some very very pretty blooms there. Uh, here I have a Cattleya Pink No ID from Dani. It is currently pushing up this new growth, which I hope it will uh, give me a spike. Last year this orchid uh, pushed up uh, two blooms, but they fade, but they faded uh, very very soon after they opened, after about uh, one or two days, and that is uh, not a good sign. I didn't uh, change the temperature of this orchid and uh, yeah something uh, really wasn't okay and I will see again this year I hope she will bloom correctly this time I really really hope so because otherwise it would mean it is something wrong wrong with the orchid and uh, that would be quite bad because this orchid is so so pretty uh, here I have another orchid from Danny, which is looking very, very good. Uh, this is my, um, wait, yeah, Katla Jungle Eyes, and it's growing so nice for me. I have two directions of growth right now. It is pushing up this new growth at the base. Hope you can see that. And uh, yeah, it has an amazing root system. It's, uh, it has doubled its size in the last year, which is uh, a very good rate in my opinion. Here I uh, reported uh, my Miltonia Sunset, which has a bud. If I manage to find it for you. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Oh no. So yeah, my mistake. This is uh, an orchid from Rachel. This is a uh, Miltonia crossed with Binotia eye, and um, this orchid was infested with Fusarium, but right now it is uh, coming back over. It is uh, starting to recuperate, and uh, yeah, last year it didn't do good because she had some snails inside the pot, and. Uh, those munch up all the roots but uh, this year she is starting to come back i'm happy for that and this is my cedilla japonica is doing some very very nice roots growing very good uh, unfortunately this year she didn't bloom for me i hope uh, it will bloom next year it usually blooms in uh, spring this is another orchid which i am selling i'm not really a fan of it i purchased uh, it way back when i am i was an orchid beginner so yeah uh this is my um bellara tahoma glacier and right now it's pushing up this fat new growth which is uh quite good it's growing quite fast here is my Cattleya Maxima crossed with uh, Doviana. I cannot wait to see this orchid in bloom. And uh, you see, this is uh, just another example of uh, how good Semihydro is doing for me and um, my fertilizer regime is because uh, you can see it previously had what? One, two, three, four, five tiny suitables. You can see the size of the orchid, not very big, and now is growing three new growths that are uh, quite good in size in my opinion it also has a very good root system it loves semi-hydro so uh, yeah let's see you see that 
Those are happy roots, my dears. And I am a happy mama. Okay, this is my Miltonia sunset. I have repotted her into a smaller pot because uh, I just want to save up some space for the winter time. And uh, she's pushing up here just one bud, which uh, is quite uh, understanding because uh, she doesn't have a lot of roots. When I have received her, she was in a very soggy pit moss and all the old roots died. But uh, now she is uh, picking up growth again. Okay, this is that uh, Cattleya Violacea hybrid that I bought from Secret Garden and uh, it is pushing up this new growth with uh, some very very pretty roots there at the base. I have seen some buds inside the, this um, new growth. This orchid blooms without a sheet and I am uh, very ha very happy for that because I know this orchid is very fragrant. Again, roots are loving semi-hydro. Okay guys, I am really really sorry for all the noise you are hearing, um, unfortunately I started to film this video at about uh, what 6 or 7 pm and uh, yeah, this is an hour when it's quite noisy outside but uh, this will have to do because uh, tomorrow I am leaving for a week, no holiday let's say and uh, yep, I need to film today. Okay, so here we have my um, Cattle Fabia, those are those uh, two little uh, seedlings that we put it up um, together and uh, as you can see she is doing very very good, she loves semi-hydro, she has a lot of roots going inside the pot but uh, yeah, we also have a lot of algae which are not harmful for orchids. Here, I should do a video about this one, you should have uh, seen how bad this orchid looked like. Uh, the spring. This is my uh, Phalaenopsis Princess Kaiulani Miki. I so love this orchid and um, I'm really really hoping uh, for a bloom next year. I think this year is uh, a little bit late for that. Here I have an old leaf uh, which is dying but um, that is uh, pretty normal. Usually falls uh, shed some uh, older leaves in this uh, period of the year in autumn. Okay, uh, a lot of you asked me about this orchid. This is my Fal Bellina, no, Phalaenopsis Bellina Poncan crossed with uh, Bellina Blue. And uh, she is uh, starting to recuperate. You can see she's pushing up one uh, little leaf there and uh, she's starting some roots there at the base. And here I have a new one. She's very shy in growth, she never was a good grower, but uh, yeah, she is starting to come back, which is good, I am happy for that. Here we have my uh, Cattleya Doriana Rosita seedling, it's doing very very good, it's uh, starting uh, to grow quite a lot of uh, new roots, I have seen it inside the medium and uh, she has this new growth here. Not really sure what's happening with my phone lately. It doesn't really want to focus. Uh, okay. And here I have um, those two Tolumnias Gyrax Shire that I bought from Secret Garden. They were completely rootless and I am saving them in uh, semi hydro. Uh, this uh, one is uh, growing a uh, new growth here with uh, some very thin roots and uh, the other one has sorry the other one has a new growth here so uh, they will survive they uh, plant back up they are very good this is my um, Miltonia Peter Comp and uh, unfortunately this orchid is not uh, very very healthy I purchased it from uh, Clayson and uh, I'm quite sad to say that uh, all their orchids were not very healthy which uh, it's an indicator for me that uh, that should uh, not be a seller uh, from which I will purchase again I have better options so yeah uh, this one is starting to um, come back to life. You saw she is pushing up some very very shy and thin new roots. This orchid was actually in bloom 
Um, this is my Meltoniopsis second love. She has some very very pretty blooms and uh, I'm so happy I managed to rebloom it right now. She's absorbing the spike back, which is normal. I usually don't cut the spike when it's still green, so I leave the orchid to take all the energy that is still in the spike. And uh, my orchids are doing pretty good with um, that. Uh, here I have such a pretty uh, Miltoniopsis that it's looking... Uh, well, a little bit healthier, but uh, not very good anyway. Miltoniopsis Catalina de Alvarado. This has uh, some amazing blooms. And uh, I'm finally starting to have some roots from her. Because when I have originally purchased it from um, Equahenera, she didn't have roots. And uh, it was a busher orchid, but um, pseudobulbs were keep uh, rotting off. And that wasn't my fault at all. The orchid was sick in some way. Okay, here we have another Miltoniopsis which uh, has two beautiful spikes. This is my uh, Miltoniopsis Benito Q Eternity and I am uh, surprised how uh, fast I managed to rebloom this orchid because uh, I purchased this orchid what a few months ago, like maximum three months ago I think and uh, we have repotted this orchid together actually. She didn't have roots, actually, she had a lot of snails, so, uh, yeah, this is quite a fast recovery in semi -hydron. This is quite a crowded area, and I'm trying to film, <laughs> it's a little bit hard. Anyway, this is quite a bushy Miltoniopsis, this is some uh, sunburn, but um, I will cut the tips of the leaves later on. I'm trying to find the tag, okay, here it is. This is my uh, Miltoniopsis Guido's Dream. I have purchased this orchid uh, last year from um, Equahenera. And uh, yep, I'm hoping to get a spike this year from him. He's looking very, very good. Here we have my Miltoniopsis Hera Alexander. He's pushing up this fat new growth. Have, it has a lot, a lot of uh, roots, which is very good for a Miltoniopsis. <laughs> Here we have, see, as I said, quite a crowded area. Here we have Meltoniopsis Patricia Marie Lenars. This orchid was in bloom in uh, late spring. And uh, right now it's pushing up this new growth, which is looking uh, very, very good. The suitables are very plump and this orchid actually has a ton of roots. This was one of the most healthy Miltoniopsis I ever purchased. I really, really like Miltoniopsis and their blooms. And uh, yep, I was very lucky with this one. This is uh, Miltonidium Melissa Briane. It is starting to recover finally. It has uh, this new growth here and another one here. This was recently in bloom. Actually, two new growths on this side. So it's doing very good. Okay, and uh, let's see. Here we have Miltoniopsis Hera Alexandra closed with Miltoniopsis Mari Sujiama. It has quite a lot of roots, and um, yep, it has grown these two new suitables, which look pretty good. Here we have um, Miltoniopsis Red Tide. I got this orchid from uh, my dear viewer Gorana. And is pushing up uh, these two new growths there. Uh, it doesn't yet have a lot of roots, but uh, she's uh, coming back. She has a few. I have reported her, um, I think this spring, I don't remember. Anyway, so she had quite a harsh summer, but she's good. She's surviving. Mm, what else? Quite a lot of Miltoniopsis here, and all are doing good. Uh, this is a pink Miltoniopsis, no idea, I will show you a picture. I actually think I found an idea, but I'm waiting for a bloom from him. It has this very fat and nice new growth. I'm really sure that he will bloom because he has a lot of roots. What else? Okay, what is this? Again, a lot of roots. Um, Hold on. 
This is my Meltoniopsis Firewater Red Butterfly. This has such pretty blooms and uh, I'm really looking forward to see this orchid in bloom. She is growing some very fat new growths right now. Those are the biggest growths it has ever produced in my care because uh, at first it uh, didn't have any roots and it uh, has produced this uh, tiny growth but now it is uh, growing bigger and bigger which is always a good sign okay let's see here what we have um yep i think this is a uh, nelly Eiler, but i'm not very sure uh it's growing that new growth which should bloom so uh, we should find out that quite soon Uh, here we have my uh, Brasidostele Brasido Gilded Tower Mystic Maze. It's uh, starting to recover finally. It has about three growths and uh, yep, hopefully next year we will get some blooms. Uh, here we have uh, Nelly Eiler, which I recently purchased um, from Secret Garden when I was in Bucharest. It doesn't have any roots but... Um, Yep, I chopped off the buds and uh, I am leaving it to absorb the energy from the spikes and uh, it has uh, two new growths which uh, I'm pretty sure it will start to grow some uh, roots soon because uh, they are uh, the proper size for that. Here I, am ha uh, here I have Meltoniopsis Newtons Fall. This is uh, recovering nicely. The older part of the orchid suffered from uh, rot but uh, I had uh, only two new growths these uh, which are bigger and um, now they are pushing those smaller ones but they are rooting themselves which is always a good indicator and here I have another Nelly Eiler which is uh, <laughs> quite sickish but uh, still alive still uh, growing roots which is good and I think with that we kind of covered this area and right now we still have this one. Um, this is Phalaenopsis uh, J-Hose Pink Girl. I managed to sunburn this orchid unfortunately, I gave him uh, too much sun. But uh, it's growing nicely, it's growing some leaves. They are a little bit smaller, that is not uh, very good, but uh, this orchid doesn't seem to be very healthy actually. It has some roots that uh, stopped growing and uh, that is not normal. There you go, that root stopped growing and uh, it's not, not because it's semi-hydro, Fals uh, love semi-hydro but uh, I'm suspecting she's a little bit sick. This is... um. Hmm. That uh, Lelia sanguinea mens, that Lelia purpurata sanguinea mens that I purchased from Elsner Orchidian. This was uh, quite healthy and for a good price, but uh, the old roots died when I purchased when I put her in semi hydro. But uh, she's starting to come back. It's growing that new growth, and uh, you, we see some uh, sap on it, which uh, is always a good indicator. It means it is absorbing. Uh, nutrients and here we have a very fat grow, uh, new root that is going inside the main womb which is good and we still have two orchids here this is my uh, Miltonidum Bartley Schwartz it is uh, such a bushy orchid you can see the size of it it is huge and uh, it has so many growths I am uh, really looking forward for the blooming season of the orchid I am uh, suspecting he will be in bloom uh, all throughout uh, the winter and spring yep not yet spikes but uh, they will uh, appear soon enough Okay, and here we have my uh, Thalanopsis Sogo Golden. It uh, has grown this leaf and uh, 
Uh, it is growing uh, quite a lot of fruit. It loves semi-hydro and is still pushing up more uh, leaves. Um, where it is? Yep. Here I seem to have a little um, cakey that is uh, starting to develop. I applied some cakey paste, so uh, I'm really looking forward for that. <laughs> 